before we start today's video, I thought I'd clear up a few things. So every time I make a sucker video, there's always a few people who freak out and say that I'm killing an endangered species. In Utah, where I am now, there's a species of suckerfish called the June sucker, which is endangered. There's also a species that's just a regular old Utah sucker, not regulated, not endangered by any means, and they can be found in just about any body of water in the West. Now the June sucker is endemic to only one body of water in the world, meaning it only exists in one body of water, that body of water being Utah Lake. So basically to clear that up, the only place in the world will you, where you will find that endangered suckerfish is in Utah Lake, not anywhere else, including the creek that you can see here behind me. So guys, you can probably guess where I'm going with this by the title of the video and by what I'm saying. Today, we are going to attempt to catch and cook a regular old suckerfish, not endangered. And if you guys wanna go fact check me, go ahead and Google it. Google June sucker and Utah sucker, two separate species, one's endangered, one isn't. They're in this creek, they're spawning right now. There's hundreds, if not thousands right here. It's like a salmon run, except for suckerfish. It's pretty dang cool. I mean, look, you can see them right there. There's some right there, there they go, they're scattering. And then, oh man, up there, there's probably a hundred. They're everywhere, folks. So how are we gonna catch these suckers today? Well, I don't have any worms, I don't have any corn, which are good baits for suckerfish, but I do have some power bait, which I found at a lake recently. The last time I used power bait was probably, I can't even remember. Like, uh, that takes me back to my childhood. I used to spend hours just fishing off the bank with some power bait on a floating bubble. We're just gonna mold a little bit of power bait on the hook here. And uh, I imagine this will get a sucker fish. If not, we got other options. So I wore shorts today because I was planning on waiting, but after setting foot in there, absolutely freezing, I want to avoid getting in the water as much as possible today. If we have to, we can, but uh, it's pretty icy. So I'm gonna to toss the power bait upstream and kind of let it float by. Oh, 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 there's fish going over to it. Oh, guys. Oh my gosh, can you guys see all those fish? <gasps> Dude, there's like a hundred right there. This is insane. Okay, let's see, let's see. All I need is one, all I need is one. These sucker fish are smart. I, I thought like as soon as there was some power bait in the water, they'd go right over to it and munch it up. But they're they're avoiding it. They, they smell human or something. Well guys, it looks like they don't want the power bait. So it's time to switch it up. I have here some pink worms, also made by power bait. Maybe a little different presentation, a little different pro profile, will uh, entice these fish into biting. Wacky rig it through the middle, just like that. Now if this doesn't get them, we're in real trouble because uh, I don't have any other options. If this doesn't work, we're probably gonna have to go in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Look at them, probably a hundred right here, more than a hundred. All right guys, so we've come to a little bridge here there are some sucker fish right under the bridge there. I can see them. Sometimes there'll be a big old trout hiding under here that you can catch, but we are after suckers today. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, 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 guys. Oh, trout, what it, brown trout. Holy cow, guys, check this out. Oh no, we just got off. No, guys. There's a bunch of sucker fish hiding under there, tossed it under, and two trout came out and slammed the worm. Oh man. Uh, you know, let's see if we can get another trout. We can we can focus on sucker fish in a minute, but uh, if there are trout down here, I'd like to catch them. Oh, guys, there's trout right there. There's trout right there, looking upstream. Let's see if we can get one of them. Come on, come on, trout. Come on, trout. Oh, 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 nice trout. Giant trout. <gasps> got him. Oh, got one. Oh my gosh. Guys, there were like a, there was like 14, 15 inches down there. I am not kidding you. Come on, come on. So I'm letting it just float under this giant wood pile right here. Oh, oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. There's a bite. Got him. Oh my gosh. Missed another one. Man, come on. 
Oh, oh he, he took it, he took it, he took it. He took it. I have a fish on. Got him, got him, got him. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Let's bring him over here. Yes. Oh my gosh. This one is fighting hard and he's not even that big. Guys, first fish of the day. How do you like that? Oh, and he swallowed it good. Uh-oh, guys. I don't know. I don't think we're getting that out. Looks like we're going to be keeping a trout today. Oh, there we go. Got our hook back and we have lunch. That is one beautiful trout. Just holding them like this, you can just feel how much muscle this fish had. Man, that's why he fought so hard. We'll set him right there. And there are more fish under here. I saw like four or five come out. They were all just as big as him, if not bigger. So let's toss it right back under there. See if we can get a brown trout or a brook. Oh, got another one. Next cast, folks, next cast. Next, it, it, oh, oh, it's a brown, it's a brown. There goes my worm. It is a brown trout. Check that out. Second species. This is a nice brown too. Look at that beautiful fish. Look, he's got some like claw marks on the side there. We're gonna let this guy go. Oh. There he goes. That is awesome, folks. All right, guys, we're going in. This water is icy cold, like icy cold, but I don't see any other way around this. We need a sucker fish. So there's about 50 fish under this giant willow. And then there's a really, really shallow, rocky run right here. If I can sneak around them, scare them up here in the shallow stuff, That'll kind of knock them off their stride and give me a chance to grab one of them. All right, here we go, folks. Oh, this water, let me tell you, it looks warm, but it only melted like three weeks ago. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these fish. This is so cool. Tons of them. Okay, time to scare them. Boo! Go. I'm here now. Scare them out from under this thing. Come on, come on, guys. No, no, other way, stupid. Mm. Come on. Oh, there's a few. Hey, hey, get out, get out there, but, ugh. Okay, so that really didn't work. I was expecting them all just to flood up onto here, but no, they kind of just darted back and forth between my legs. Okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Oh, look, there's a bunch right there. Oh, no, get up, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's one right there, one right there, oh. Oh my gosh. If I can just chase them and disorient them. Ah, they're hitting my feet. This is so creepy. Uncomfortable. Oh. Okay, chase them up there. Chase them up there. Chase them up there. I just need one to mess up. Uh, here I come. Ah, uh, uh, those are too far. No. Look at all these. Oh, they're all on my feet. This is weird. <laughs> this is kind of creeping me out. Fish are just bumping into my leg. Oh, oh. I got you. Wait, no, no. I'm waiting for one to go right between my legs. See, the thing is, these fish are just hanging out in the middle of the current. If they were tucked up under banks, I could just reach down and grab one, but they're in the middle. So there's really no way I can do that without chasing them down. So I've moved down the stream a little bit to where it's a little shallower and a lot more current. And I think this might be a better spot to catch them with my hands because they can't see me as well. And it's shallower and smaller. Oh, oh, there's tons right here. Okay, I'm gonna scare them up. I'm gonna scare them upstream. Move guys, move out. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. <gasps> okay, there's one right there. Let's see if I can grab him. He's right there, he's right there. <gasps> oh, I've got a hold of him, folks. No! I had a hold of his tail. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there in that bush. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. I got this. You just grab onto their tails. Oh! Whew. I had him. I had both my hands around him. I'm gonna see if I can chase him upstream instead of down. I don't want him going down there. Oh, 
Oh, oh, got him! Got one! No! 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 Guys! I got a sucker fish! Woo! Yes! Oh, we have done it! We have, we have a sucker fish! Okay guys, here's the deal. I'm gonna kill this guy, but I'm not sure if he's the one that I wanna take. But either way, I'm gonna kill him because uh, these are not good for the ecosystem. All right, buddy, I'll see you on the other side. There we have our first sucker fish. He's a little bit too big. That's the reason why I'm not sure if I wanna keep him. He is giant, he's one of the bigger ones. Preferably, I'd like to get a 13 incher. That would be a good one to cook. But just in case, we've got this one. Let's go back in there. That was epic. That got my blood pumping. Guys, I am about to throw my GoPros at the ground right now. They keep shutting off. I just caught another sucker fish. Probably the biggest sucker fish I've ever seen in my entire life. This is like a two footer, probably a six pounder, just sitting right out there in the current. So big, he couldn't even hold himself in the current. He was just kind of sitting there. I feel like there's a lot of epic foot footage I just missed out on because my GoPros decide to just not function properly. Sadly, we're gonna kill him because there's probably thousands of eggs in there. Thousands of eggs that we don't need. Rest in peace. So he is dead, but I'm just gonna toss him right back in the creek because you're not allowed to leave dead fish on the creek even though people do it all the time here. But I'm just gonna toss him back in. So we'll just float downstream. Eventually a raccoon or something will come eat him. I know that I'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes on this video for doing that, but you gotta understand this is an invasive species, so you kind of do what you got to do. All right, folks. Well, back from the creek, we have our bounty of fish right here. Nasty sucker fish and then our rainbow trout. But I had to leave the creek early because my cameras kept freezing up and just dying on me for no reason at all. The batteries are full. I just think these GoPros are kind of garbage. They last good for about a year, and then when they want you to buy new ones, they make the old ones run like crap and, you know, just pretty dishonest in my opinion but so i think i missed a lot of good underwater footage i know i missed some good underwater footage either way we have our fish right here i did end up keeping this sucker freaking flies are all over them but anyway i'm gonna clean these guys out and uh, then we'll get cooking it's lunchtime right now and i want to try some sucker fish all right so before we fillet this big sucker fish let's just gut our trout here real quick real easy Oh, this is gonna be good. A nice little trout appetizer to start us off before the main course. All right, now for this big old sucker. This thing is giant. This thing's probably about three pounds. Really, I only need one side of the fillet, but we'll go ahead and fillet up both sides. Just go in like that. Oh wow, they got some thick bones. Go like that, run along the spine. Oh wow, I already botched that really, really badly. First off, look at all those eggs. <laughs> wow, look at that. What a terrible fillet job. Look at all those eggs. Thousands of eggs probably, and these are eggs that we do not want being laid in that creek. There's plenty of sucker fish. There's one fillet, we'll flip her over. those bones out of there. I mean, look at those big old thick rib bones. We'll rinse these guys off here. Wash our trout off too. And there we go, folks. We have our beautiful sucker fillets. They actually don't look too bad. Like, I mean, that looks just like regular white meat fish. So today, folks, we're gonna be cooking these guys straight up in a frying pan with some butter. I'm gonna take one filet, split it in half. On one half, put lemon pepper. On one half, the Cajun seasoning. See which one I like better. Frying pan. Get that heat turned up. Our butter is melted. At least this time I put it in a Ziploc bag so it didn't get all over my backpack. A full cube of melted butter. We are going to, uh, yeah, just do that, I guess. All right, first we're gonna add our rainbow trout. Throw some lemon pepper on him. 
on the inside. Move them around. There we go guys, finished rainbow trout. I don't like the skin, so we're just gonna peel all that off. And then we're left with just the meat. I'm gonna add some more lemon pepper to the top. Mmm. Last bite of the rainbow trout. That went quick. Start our stove back up here. A little more butter. So we have our first piece of sucker fish. We'll just sprinkle it with that. There we go. And lie it right there. Do a little more to the top. And then on the second one, we're gonna go with Ace's first cast seasoning. And then lie that one in there. So when I caught and cooked carp, the fillets looked like they were boneless until I cooked them, and then little tiny Y bones started popping out all over the place. So these fillets, they kind of remind me of that carp. They feel boneless, they look really good, but when I cook them, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of little bones that just start peeking, peeking out. Oh, these guys are looking good. Look how flaky this fish is. That's the one thing I'm noticing. I like barely touch it with the fork and it just flakes off. Like this is a super soft fish. But they are done. Smells good. Here we have, wait, let's see. Which one's the lemon? Oh, here we have the lemon pepper, the one that fell apart. And here we have the Cajun one. All right, grab a little bite here. This is the Cajun, Cajun filet. Oh my gosh, these flies are everywhere. That is the weirdest texture I have ever tasted. That is weird. I'm not even lying. That literally had the texture of applesauce. I don't think I like that. There are a few bones. I'm noticing a few tiny, teeny bones. Oh man. Mm. Bones everywhere. Let's try the lemon pepper one. Maybe for some reason this one's better. I mean, you can see here when I touch it with a fork, like look at that. You can mash it up into like, like baby food. Like I'm not even putting any pressure. I'm like barely even tapping this meat with a fork and it just turns into this mush. Since we cooked it, we gotta try at least one more piece. Okay, here is the lemon pepper. Oh my gosh, I do not, ugh. Not good, folks. Not only is it mushy, but there are bones everywhere. Little tiny bones like that. And look, like you just take it with your fork, mash it up, and it becomes this fish salad, basically. Like, what is that? I barely even am touching it with a fork and it's just crumbling. I think I've reached a conclusion with this. I don't like that very much. Now I have heard of people smoking sucker, like they'll, they'll catch a bunch of sucker fish and smoke them and that actually tastes pretty good. I don't know, I've never tried it, but I have heard of people doing it. So maybe if you smoked them, they'd have a better texture and they might be better. But as for frying them on a frying pan, maybe I did something wrong. I did not like that at all. I give this sucker fish two out of 10. It is not the worst thing I've ever had, but it is pretty bad. And maybe I just cooked it wrong. Either way, I prefer that trout over the sucker. That trout was... But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, this little experiment. Let me know if you guys want me to go back to that creek, catch some more suckers, and uh, catch some more trout, because it was a lot of fun. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And as for this other sucker filet, I'm not gonna be cooking that anytime soon. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.